Makes a Christmas dance is that I'm wearing a red sweater. Uh. Hey. What? Hey. Uh. When I hear this, it's like the first time. Yeah, right. Well, I guess like you didn't hear this last week and the week before that. You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. Welcome to Ask John and April Live, the special Christmas edition. We only have a few days until Christmas. What's today? The twentieth. I think so. Yeah, yeah December 20th. So five days wow. and counting. So I can't put T any more minus, Christmas decorations T up minus five days. <laughs> I mean, you can. You know what I'm saying? If you want to. But you've already decorated oh, the house very nicely. It looks good out there to me. No, but you know I'll be saying? wanting more stuff, honey. You can put more stuff if you want to. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not positive if our comments are working because I thought I saw a comment from Primo a second ago, but I only see one comment right now. And that's from Quincy Williams. Hey, Quincy. Y'all stay consistent. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> uh, it's almost true. And he is coming from <laughs> YouTube. So. Yeah, right. He's on YouTube. Facebook might not be. I, I don't know if Facebook comments are coming through. I, I, I'm reason, not sure. But I don't see any on here. So I don't know what you're talking about. So, okay. Andrew Francis just says another comment and it oh, worked. So, and it's Facebook. you know, okay, and that's Facebook. Working. So I guess it's fine. Okay. I thought so I don't sure. Know what you saw. I saw something that said Primo. Um, Primo commented on your video six minutes ago, but it was on our we Just John in April. Six minutes ago, were we? Uh, we yeah, six yeah, yeah, ago? yeah. Oh, yeah. See, he said, he said, what is happening? Oh, well, yeah. What is happening here? here? Okay, now yeah. it's fine. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't get it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Well, the point is it's working now. It's so. coming through. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, sucker. What a primo. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? So, okay, if there's anybody new in the chat, you know, new chimes that are here, you can feel free to go ahead and just say, you know, newbie or something like that. We want to shout you out. We're glad that you're here. Thank you for being here today. What's um, up, guys? If you are somewhere else, like, yeah, you know, yeah. this is only a few days before Christmas, so you may have already traveled to where you are going for the holidays. If that's the case, tell us where you're joining us from. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know if people travel this early. This far ahead. I think we are just, we're different in that we would be traveling like a week before Christmas. I don't know if everybody yeah. does that. Yeah, that's I don't know. probably true. You know what I'm saying? You, you you know, I don't know. People probably, a lot of people don't get to their destination till like Christmas Eve or like the day before Christmas Eve. So tell us if that's true. I, I'm, I'm curious about I that. I mean, I just don't think people spend a week before Christmas, you know. Like we did. Like we did. Yeah. You're saying did. Did is the <laughs> operative word here. It's very important that it we, is. we basically... 
don't have to do that anymore. Right. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about but, that. Um, right now. No, I'm just kidding. You want to talk about it right now? No. Okay. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. So, um, yeah, bring on the chimes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where y'all at? Yeah, you where the saying? chimes at? Mark. Y'all go ahead and share. Get people on here. Yes. So that we can talk. Exactly. And have folk chiming on in. So what we're going to do right now is actually wish you a Merry Christmas. Ooh. Nice, yeah. babe. Uh. Setting the mood. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. It's not quite Christmas yet, happy but holidays. we so, will not see you. So what's happy like holidays? It. I never really know what happy holidays is. And what does that even mean? Is it, ha- is it Merry Christmas and Happy New Year together as happy holidays? I think it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, and, and New Year's it, all ah, together. Happy holidays. That's what I think. So even though Thanksgiving's past, we can still say happy holidays. So we should be yes. saying happy holidays back right I think, after Halloween. I think people start... <laughs> I, I, yeah, right after I think Halloween, people start say saying happy, happy holidays <laughs> around <laughs> Thanksgiving time. Because like the holiday season, it starts, you know, Thanksgiving. So I have to wait until Thanksgiving, or can I say it before Thanksgiving? Can I say happy holidays the day after Halloween? Yes. <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Frederick says, Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas to hey, you, buddy. Hey, Merry Christmas. Uh, Andrew says, and all the other holidays. <laughs> O'Brien, hey, happy Brian. holidays to you. Happy holidays. Yeah, so when do y'all start saying it? Is, is it actually okay to start saying it right after Halloween? You know what I'm saying? I think it is. I don't know. I always get confused about happy holidays. Do I say happy holidays? Do I say Merry Christmas? Only like... So this is the thing. I don't want to put Halloween into that. Well, I that's didn't say. I said, that's why I said after So I'm saying as long as it's after Halloween, I'm fine with it. You, you know just say saying? happy holidays for the rest of the Andrew says we too. should be including Festivus. <laughs> <laughs> When is that? Or oh, it's like Festivus. Oh, it's like Festivus. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't guess, know you what know. Festivus is. Yes, you do. I do. It's Seinfeld. It was oh, uh, yes. George's dad oh, came yeah. up with Festivus. Oh, that's right. Festivus oh, for the rest of us. You don't remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, oh, my goodness. Said. He said, I don't say it until after Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I that's when that. I normally start hearing. That's why I didn't think Thanksgiving went along with Happy Holidays. Right. You know. Primo says, I think Happy Holidays is Christmas plus the other religious holidays like Kwanzaa, Jewish holidays, etc. Oh, okay. That's yeah. true. So That's it probably true. doesn't include thank- uh, New Year's even is what he's saying. Mm, okay. It's just basically all the things that are related to like right. Christmas type stuff. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. right. So, yeah. Um, Quincy's at Kwanzaa as well, too. He agrees with that. That's probably all in there. You know what I'm saying? Lump yeah. it all in. Yeah. Lump it all in. The point is, you can say Happy Holidays right now. It is appropriate. Okay, so happy holidays, everyone. And uh, I'm saying Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas twice. By saying right. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, exactly. I'm saying Merry Christmas. Well, there may be some people on here that are, you know, don't celebrate Christmas. So I can uh, say Happy Holidays. I got. We're it. saying Happy Holidays got to it. them. Okay, now you know I know saying? how to use it. So whatever Perfect. they're. Perfect. How did you not know that all the time? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is Happy Holidays? Like, what? <laughs> it is more than just. Christmas. And when do you say? You're right. It? You're, saying? You're right. That's hilarious. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, so we are not traveling this year because we've told you guys my parents moved in. Yes. So we didn't travel for Thanksgiving already. And we're also not traveling for Christmas, which is weird for us. How do you feel about that? I think it's weird. So so we basically just cut our travel time in half. Like every year, as you said a second ago, we usually spend long periods of time with either side of the family. If we're going to my parents for Thanksgiving, we're there for like a whole week usually, or several days, whatever it's two it is. Weeks. I'm saying if it's Thanksgiving, and if yeah, it's yeah, if it's yeah, Christmas, yeah. we're two at weeks. least one week, sometimes two, with whichever set of parents right. or whatever. And now that your parents live here, we're not going to be going anywhere at least half of the time. My parents are coming up here this year, so yeah, we don't have to go so, anywhere so, this time so at all. So tell us, guys, like. We, you know, do you travel? Are you are you with your family for a week and a half to two weeks for Christmas? Or right. is it just a few days? Because right. we were with our family for a week and a half. I mean, right. we would literally be gone. I mean, anybody that watches us knows that almost every Christmas we're doing the show from, like, on location. Right. Either in Huntsville <laughs> or in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? That's usually what we're trying to do. Primo says he likes our uh, backdrop. He said, he said, no, he didn't say that. He didn't say he liked it, babe. Y'all tried to spruce up the backdrop, exactly. I see. You don't think he's saying he likes it? No. Okay. He's saying y'all trying. We are trying. <laughs> Listen, this might take a little longer than we thought. We are trying, okay? Uh, I think he's talking about this, oh. not that. Oh, yes. That's you know what, what he's saying? talking about. Yeah. And says, when we travel, it's just a few days. 
Yeah, so I told you, not, babe. We're not, the they're oddballs. They're not doing so long, you know, yeah. some long thing. No, they're not. And so we're weirdos, yeah. basically. So now that we're not doing it, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to get used to it largely because when we travel, it's all four of us. We're usually not flying. We're driving. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's a that's a long trip in the car, which we're used to doing, but still. Yeah. It's a lot on your back. <laughs> or at least mine. You know what I'm saying? Since everybody, I'm since everybody else in the I'm car is sleeping. That, Hello? I'm going to miss that. Yeah. Since I am on the, in the passenger side, chilling. So usually. that is true. I so, drive sometimes, though. Every so often. Yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much as we normally do at least one week when we travel for the holidays, but we have no more than two a two-week rule. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. More than two weeks, that's a little much. I agree. I don't think we've ever done more than two weeks, no, have we? No, two weeks is our max. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes, I'm, I'm kind of glad because, like, my break will actually be a break because usually you got to come back home and get a break because, you know, it was a lot. Right. So, you know. All right. So got a different question altogether now. Uh, we asked you guys last week about your Christmas gifts, and we wanted to know, yes. you know, whether or not you were finished shopping and all that stuff. Did you finish shopping? Between last week and this because week. Because several people said that they hadn't even started. Right. I think Primo's not going to do it at all this year. <laughs> He's boycotting. So we finally, did we finish? We basically finished. I do have a couple of more things that I need to get. Same. I do have a couple of more but things. We did, but we did most of the things. stuff that we really cared about. Yes. So that's good. That is good. So I'm, I'm stress-free so right now. we're basically done. You know I'm saying? Are you finished? Okay, Primo says done. I'm done as okay. of today. Okay. Amazon made it easy. Same yeah. Quincy. Right. Amazon made we it did, easy. We did use Amazon. I you know still have a couple more things that I'm hoping I can get from Amazon that will come on time. The problem is there's one gift for one of our kids that is sure to not come before Christmas. Right. We might have to put a picture we, in a box. Yeah. Oh, which, Brian which said Amazon best, saved me you know last saying? night. Laugh out loud. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yes, for, man. Amazon for the win. You know Amazon what I'm for the win. Okay. <laughs> Jolie says, it seems your emphasis in having this discussion topic is to find out how important it is to respect people. Oh, we're talking about the next thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get we'll, there. We'll, we'll take your there. comment in a second because, yes, we are going to be talking about that tonight. <laughs> yes. Uh, Primo says, my daughter won out. Shake my head. What, oh, is, what does that mean? Are she you got saying? a lot of gifts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that's what he means. So if that. you are a newbie, go ahead and put newbie in the chat. Yeah, yeah put newbie if in the chat so newbie. we know. You know what I'm saying? So that we know you are, we can we can claim you as a child. And we also want to know if you're already where you're going to be for Christmas. Where are you? Where are you watching the show from right now? Yes. Camila, what's up? Hey, Camila. Are you done shopping? Or do you have more to go? We actually, and now that I think about it, we actually have several gifts to still get, babe. You know, are you sure? You don't realize. I'll talk to you about that later. You don't really? realize how many gifts we have left. So we're going to have to do a quick run to the store tomorrow. Oh, the, those, and these are ones we can pick up real quick. It needs to be early in the morning before anybody Yeah, early in the there. morning. We've got to go right away. So I'm yes. To fool yes. With that. All right. So. All right. We need to play a game now. ATL. That's right. Yeah. Where is Greater? Oh, this is Anjali. Hey, What's up? Anjali. <laughs> and Anjali Camilla's in Atlanta. Nikki, yeah. my girl. I haven't seen you in so long. It's been a minute. Good to Definitely. see you on here, my dear. All right, so so this is the game we want to play now. Are we playing the game yet? We're not playing the game yet. Why not? Okay. We're not playing the game yet, though. What are we doing you instead? You forgot. What did I forget? The Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. I forgot. You're right. It's okay. All right, so. so we can just turn this down for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start yeah, yeah. it up again. We'll start here's the, it up again. Here's the question. For tonight, this is the question of the day that has nothing to do with the actual topic. We want to know if we're also weird, because we're weird in spending way more time. We're weird in several ways. Yes. But, but that's okay. But, yes. I like weird. I do too. Yes. But the question tonight is, <laughs> uh, do you guys actually, do you have, is Christmas dinner just as elaborate as Thanksgiving dinner for you guys? Or, or is Christmas dinner kind of like barely anything? Right. Like, like, we know people who go out to eat for Christmas. Right. You said that they last week, the, and, I, yes. and when you said it, I scoffed. Because I, <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually think, to me, that's like a Christmas no-no. For me, too. But uh, th- uh, for us. But other people who go out to eat for Christmas, uh, that's nice. You know, you go to, uh, you know, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's saying hilarious. Cheesecake Factory because you know, poor little right. Cheesecake Factory got dissed so badly. <laughs> but anyway, you know, uh, go to Cheesecake Factory with the family every Christmas. Right. Or you go to whatever, no you know, Golden Corral. But you, you know, said, whatever. I think you said somebody <laughs> said last time they would get Chinese food, like takeout or, or food, order in or whatever. They order in. That's, yeah. a, that's their family thing that they do. So, okay, so, so in our family, if it's not obvious already, in our family, 
the difference between Christmas and Thanksgiving are some slight menu variations. That's, That's it. it. But it's just it's as just elaborate. It's just as huge. So Christmas dinner is like Thanksgiving okay. dinner again. Yes. You know so is that the same for you guys? So Christmas dinner is as big. And almost the same menu. Same. Okay, so so that's what that's a Christmas says. dinner and breakfast are over the top. Wow, you have really? breakfast. You have wow. Oh my goodness, y'all be eating. That means breakfast got to be like six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by the way, Jocelyn, I don't know why she says didn't and won't be buying not one gift this year. What man? Not a one. Oh, not a one. That's crazy. What about man? your son? <laughs> by the way, Camilla says I'm not. I, I am I'm not, not. Don't. But I'm that mom that loves Christmas. Yeah, we love, oh, we love she's not too. done with her Christmas. Oh, yeah, I'm not done. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. But, but she can keep going, okay. I guess. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jocelyn says it used to be big, uh, just as big, not as much anymore. Okay, so she's saying their Christmas dinner isn't as big anymore, but it used to be. Really? So have y'all come down off of Christmas, you know, the things you used to do or whatever? You know, because she said no gifts this year. Yeah, I'm saying that's What up, wow. Jocelyn? I'm that just so nice. glad you're here tonight. I wonder if that's actually Jocelyn or is that... Horace on Jocelyn's account. No, tonight. that's Jocelyn you know tonight. Come we'll on, Jocelyn, let it be you. <laughs> Primo says we're hosting uh, Christmas for the family in South Carolina th- this year, so his sister was okay, the host okay, for Thanksgiving. Okay. So okay. they're hosting for Christmas, so he's staying home, so he doesn't have to travel nice, anywhere. Nice, Which is nice, you know what I'm saying? O'Brien says, yes, this Christmas uh, Christmas dinner was Thanksgiving part two at my grandma's mm, house, rest in peace. Okay. Yeah, so same yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So, so okay, we're good. not weird we're glad then. To know. We're not weird. So we're, we're not the only ones for whom... Christmas dinner, we go just as buck wild <laughs> as we do at uh, Thanksgiving time. <laughs> she said, son's going to Ireland in, Mary, in March. Merry Christmas. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I wouldn't be getting no gifts either. Exactly. You know what I'm <laughs> nice, though. Yeah, it's dope. As your kids get older, do you feel like you do less? Uh, so let me tell y'all what happened the other day. Let me tell you what happened. John was like... Um, Which John, me? You. Okay. I was like... Okay, we, I always say, and I grew up with, send your Christmas list. I grew up with that. So I've always done, we've always done that. You know, send your Christmas list or whatever. The kids send their Christmas list. And I'm like wanting to get everything on the list. Mm-hmm. And John was like, why? Why do we have to get everything on the list? <laughs> I was First like. I didn't sound like that. What? <laughs> have y'all noticed the way that April <laughs> does my voice every time? It's such a caricature. I don't sound like that. Yes. Ever. It was like, why do we have to get everything? I'm like. This the list. If you can get the stuff, let's get the stuff. It wasn't nothing big. Like, I mean, if you can. You know what I'm saying? If it's you, if you can get everything on the list, get everything on the list. Because, you know, it's one time. So get everything on the list. So, yes, we do them just like we did when they were younger. But I do think it's not quite as um, elaborate. Like, when they were kids, John, I think. it is as elaborate. I don't think so. You have to think about a couple years ago and stuff we do, like putting uh, prank gifts and then you get the big thing. We always do, Come true. on. We I always, mean, Christmas is, actually, is. is is the like the favorite. Um, <laughs> it's our favorite holiday, pretty much. So you know Primo what I'm saying? Primo said great imitation. No, it's not, that's not a great imitation. That was a terrible <laughs> yes, imitation. Yes, that's what he does. So Jocelyn <laughs> it is absolutely her. It is her tonight. Yay. Hi, Jocelyn. Good to see you, Jocelyn. <laughs> uh, the invite list is smaller for Christmas. Okay, that's true. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is true. So our Christmas dinner oh, yes, definitely is smaller. just yes. as big in terms of like the an elaborate of food menu. And, and probably, the amount right, of food amount is of food. the same. <laughs> but the amount of people we invite over is yeah, smaller. Yeah. That's definitely true. We don't and have that's because people. Christmas is more of your immediate family. You know, right, it's not, you're right. not going and, you know, Thanksgiving, you have friends over. You yeah. have, you know, but Christmas is a little bit more intimate. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel like that was your voice in the moment. Laugh out loud. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Not even close, okay? <laughs> oh, Anjali said had to post it again so it's grammatically correct and no typos. Right. Okay, we'll make We're sure read we, we'll make sure we read it. All right, there, there's a horse. Well, humbug. Oh, humbug. my goodness. Yeah. He's saying the same thing because he ain't getting no gifts. Wow. You know well, I feel bad hey. For Whatever floats your boat. All right, now we're doing a game. We're going right. to play this game tonight, y'all. Huh. All right, so the game tonight we are calling Christmas Dinner versus One Must Go. So y'all have y'all to respond. Sign? I do. <laughs> y'all have to respond in the uh, comments yes. quickly. Respond in the comments quickly. And you're basically going to tell us which of the two things has to go. Which so. one has to go? So you're saying which one has to go? Yes. Okay. So which one has to go? Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah, one must go. So which one one are you saying we do not want that one? Yes. All right, so first one, pot roast or meatloaf? Which one has to go? Which one has has to to go? go. So So that means... Which one do we not want? Exactly. 
on the on our on our, on our Christmas dinner table. Exactly. Okay. So it's Christmas dinner. So what would you say, babe, for you? Which one has to go? I, I'd say pot roast. So I want meatloaf. Same. She said both. <laughs> Camille said both. Yeah, wow. I don't want no pot roast. Same. Ooh, Horace said meatloaf has to go. What? Meat, uh, you know why? Because Horace probably make the bomb pot roast. Yeah, right. That's why. <laughs> that is why. Anna said pot roast has to go too. And then okay. Andrew said bye bye, bye pot, pot <laughs> roast. So, so I think. What if we are true evidence? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then it has to be veggie. Roast. It has to be veggie. Veggie uh, pot roast, you know veggie saying? meatloaf. Veggie meatloaf. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Andre jo- said, said pot roast has to go, go too. All right. All right so guys, that, so that's that's a vote for meatloaf. All right, meatloaf. Meatloaf wins that one. All right. All right, next one. Uh, candy, candy yams, yams or sweet potatoes. Or sweet potatoes. Now, th- mm. these are, honestly, I think uh, non-melanated cousins might not even know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 we know. You know what I'm saying? See, see Horace, you know it. his pot roast is the bomb. Okay. All right, so uh. he said meatloaf team, dinner roast. <laughs> exactly. I forgot about that. Dinner roast, yeah. All right, guys, come on. Candied yams or sweet potato? Sweet potato can there. That means which like one has to one, go? But if one has to go, I think I would say sweet potato has to go. You'd rather have candied yams? Yeah. I think I'd rather have candied yams. Okay. So, 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 sweet potato so Camille has is to saying go. sweet potato has to go. Uh oh. O'Brien's saying candied candy yams, yams has, has to go. go. Sweet potato has to Primo go. Primo says sweet potato has to go. Anna says candied yams so, has so to go. So, so far, it's tied. And then Horace says Horace sweet, says sweet potatoes, potatoes has to go. go. So, so right, right now, candied yams is just edging out, barely. Yes. Okay, I can get sweet potatoes, get sweet potatoes another, another okay, day. Okay, so candied yams wins, right? I think I think so. What did you say? Which one has to go? Oh, I, I said sweet potatoes. I'd okay. rather have candied yams. Okay. Yeah. Anjali said I keep I both. Keep both. All right, so candied yams <laughs> wins on candied that one. Candied yams wins on that one. Uh, All right. Let me All see right. something. Uh, I got to make sure. Stuffing, right, stuffing or dressing. Or dressing. Now, now, some people don't know the difference between this either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't like either one. Uh, Primo said whichever one has marshmallow stays, and that's candied yams. Ew. The candied yams, people make okay, those with marshmallows. Okay, I do not want candied yams. Yeah, yeah, well, too bad. I cannot that's, stand that are, marshmallows. That, are, that already won. No, but, but not all candied yams have marshmallows. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, some people make it that way. Yeah. yeah. That, I don't but like that But I've never seen way. sweet potato with marshmallows. I don't like that candied yam. <laughs> So stuffing or dressing, <laughs> which one? So so if you, if you don't know the okay, difference. Okay, so tell us the difference. Somebody said this the other day. Okay. Stuffing is the stuff you put inside the turkey. Ah. And sometimes people serve that to eat. Okay. Dressing is, uh, like I guess, more southern. <laughs> in, you know what I'm saying? Like, like southern yeah. people make dressing. Yeah, so I, I, I never knew what dressing southern was till I moved mm. to pastor in Dublin, Georgia. That's when I found out what that even was. You know what I'm saying? He said, isn't yeah, see, O'Brien says it's the same. It's not really the same. He said, is it, oh, isn't it the yeah, same? Yeah, it's not really the same. Okay. So, uh, in fact, a- another person said it to me this way. They said that our non-melanated cousins mostly eat stuffing. Mm, and see, everybody's saying stuffing has to go. Buy stuffing, stuffing. Both have to go. Both can go. <laughs> same for me. Both can go. In my world, <laughs> stuffing and dressing is the same. <laughs> 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 All right, so we will say. Reginald will say dressing has so to go. So stuffing wins on that one. Yeah, no, 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 no. Dressing wins. Everybody's oh, saying right. bye I'm bye sorry, to stuff. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Dressing, dressing wins. Dressing wins. See, see, Camille says dressing is very southern. It yes, is. Yes. It is a southern thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we called it dressing. Right. I never did. Growing yeah. up, I called it stuffing, but, you know, I'm from New York. So <laughs> I didn't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. Uh, mac and cheese or, or baked, baked ziti. ziti. Which one has to go? Mac and Which cheese or baked ziti. I know what everybody's going to say in this one. Exactly. They got to say baked ziti. Big Z got to go. go. Hey, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what's Come the deal, man? Come on into the game. Which one has to go? Yeah, mac, mac and, and cheese, cheese or, or Big Z. Z. We're talking about Christmas dinner. Which we'll one say. must go? Yes. You do not want it at the table. Right. He said, duh, Z. <laughs> 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 See, Big Z. Big Z. I don't like Big Z. Yeah, I don't either. I, I feel like it's... Um, I feel like Big Z. Big Z is just spaghetti with the fat noodles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> With some cheese, some cheese. on top. With like, why is it called? <laughs> he said, "This is a joke." <laughs> okay, mac and cheese. All right, mac and cheese. Uh, on that ZD, one. it can go, but don't care. Touch, uh, don't dare touch our lasagna. I, we didn't put lasagna in and this one. And you know what? We were go- We should have put lasagna. We put it. We should have. We should have. You're right. <laughs> Everybody said the yes. big cheese got to go. Okay. Are you <laughs> he no, said, no, "I'm not even going <laughs> to dignify that question with a reply." <laughs> You know what I'm saying? All Everybody right. wants Big ZD gone. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, All right next, next one. So, mac and cheese wins on that one. Collard greens or green bean casserole? 
Now, I listen. First of all, April's mom's green listen, bean casserole is next my level. My mother's green bean casserole and, is the bomb. And April learned okay. how to make it when we first got married, and it's amazing. Listen. So it's actually very good. But so. But I'm picking but collard greens. I, I can't I'm not, help I'm not, but say collards. Yeah. I'm, so no. Back at, no. I mean, no. Green beans, the green beans got, have, to, have go. to go. Right. Green Even bean though green bean casserole is good. It's good. If it's made right. It can be there along with, but I, if I had to choose between the two. I got to go with some collards with right. some with some turkey neck in there. Oh, man. Definitely. Turkey neck collards. <laughs> and gizzard. You know no, she said <laughs> you can keep both. Neither. Oh, keep both. okay. Get rid of green bean casserole. I see yep. that. Yep. Green bean casserole got to go, according to Primo. Jocelyn okay. says the casserole, casserole got, got to go. go. Bye bye, bye green, green bean. bean. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. It's, it's going to be the collard greens. Uh, O'Brien, I'm going to say what I really want to say. On, on the after, after party stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what you're going to say. And Camila says green bean casserole, leave it, leave to, it the to the others. <laughs> well, <laughs> Woo! Uh, That's so, hilarious. So, collards. So, I collards definitely, definitely wins there. You have which, to have collards. Which we already knew. I'm saying, all, all casseroles got to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have to agree with you on that one. Right, so so one? it's funny because Anjali, we hadn't even got it. Green bean slop, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Anjali already answered this one earlier. Yes, she did. I before saw. we even got to it. Right. All right. So this Hand one. Canned cranberry sauce or fresh cranberry sauce with whole cranberries. Right. So so right? technically, yes, the okay. canned cranberry sauce is actually the jellied one with nothing in it, you know, besides the jelly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By the way, Anjali's with you with the turkey necks. Yes, honey. Put them turkey necks up in them collars, honey child. Yes. So which one? Do you want do you want the canned cranberry sauce that's jellied or do you want the fresh cranberry sauce with whole cranberries in it? Let me let me tell you what I want. First of all, the whole cranberries got to go. Every, every time. I don't want to see any type of fruit <laughs> up in my cranberry sauce, okay? That just be busting one. on your mouth. Right. I hate that's it, man. Terrible. It's disgusting. Both got to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of cranberry sauce? It's like, No, okay, so, let me tell you how you have to eat it. Let me tell you. You have to eat it where it's cold, very, very cold, yes. right out the fridge, like yes. really cold. Yes. And you just take a little, I only get one little patty. You just take little bitty pieces and mix it with the greens, macaroni and cheese. It's the sweet that goes dressing with the savory. all together, and then you bite and you just got a little piece of the sweet. Yes. So you don't have to taste the texture of you the, think I don't about like the it, texture. You think about it, your Christmas dinner is going to have mostly savory things in it. Right. Except for the candied yams or whatever. So this is good because it's okay, cold, Okay, so too. look at this. We got. Horace says he wants the homemade fresh no, cranberries to go. Yes, he wants that to go. Jocelyn says trash, trash them both. both. Andrew says fresh fresh because nobody can do it right. Ew. Everybody can't do it right. He's saying that has to go. Oh, yes. Fresh yeah, got to go. Fresh got to go. Yes, fresh got to go. But Reginald says the can got to go. Mm. Un unless, Reginald, you don't understand. Do you want the can to go or do you want it to stay? Right. Remember we're, we're saying. We and Primo be, wants the can, can to go. can cannot be. Okay. Uh, Good evening. That seems, that like, seems like too much, much work. work. Exactly. Nah, I agree. Shalita says fresh should, should go. go. All right, yeah, so the canned I cranberry. I think canned cranberry is on one. Okay, the canned cranberry. By the way, O'Brien says he's never mixed it before, so he always uses a full slice on the plate and wonder why it's there. No, you have to mix it. You, but yeah. you, you just take a little piece, and then you 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 get a dab of all the food together. So I actually put cranberry Let me sauce tell you something. on so my good. Thanksgiving sandwich, which we'll talk about yeah, a little it, bit it's later. About, it's Very about important. the sweet and savory. So... Okay, Horace it's says, good. I meant can has to go. I make a mean cranberry sauce. So he makes it fresh. I bet you do. So he's saying, but, no, I don't but, know. but still. If but you still, put I think actual the, cranberries in there, I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing as with As good me, as you can cook, Horace. I'm sorry. I don't think so. All right, here's the last two. Now we're drinking. Is it going to be eggnog or hot apple cider? Which one do you want? Eggnog or hot apple cider? So I, I don't like eggnog because. No, it, don't say that. Why? Because there's an eggnog that doesn't have milk? Yes. Yes, that's so true. So you know the taste of eggnog. Do th you like that or do you? would you rather have? I think I'd rather have eggnog than hot apple cider if it's if it's the kind that I can drink. You so know? what has to go? He said buy apple cider. He says he's saying no eggnog. Buy eggnog. Okay. Yes, we'll talk about Thanksgiving sandwich. Yes, Anjali. Thanksgiving sandwich. I will tell you about that in a Primo little while. Primo said eggnog has to go. I think for me, eggnog has to go, too. If I, Hot apple cider is much more appealing for me. Camille says eggnog. hot apple cider has to go. If it was cold, then yes. But she don't want it hot. Oh, really? You don't like and, hot and, apple and cider? And the thing is, wow. you, you can drink it hot or cold just like you can drink eggnog hot or cold. So maybe we shouldn't say hot apple cider. Maybe we should say. So Brian said, I can't even get past the smell of eggnog. <laughs> Horace like says bye-bye to the cider. Okay, so so let's see who wins on this. Let's Anjali see. says bye I like bye both. Bye-bye cider. Bye-bye eggnog. Bye-bye eggnog. Bye-bye cider. 
by by cider. Chocolate and eggnog gotta by go too. By eggnog, by eggnog. So I, I think, think the cider wins. Yeah, I think people I think don't so. like eggnog as much. Yeah, I think so. All right, so the cider wins there. All right, here's the last one. Dessert. No, we missed one. Did you not put it up there? I did. What was it? Oh, 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 oh. this one. Sorry. Fried oh, chicken or baked chicken? One. What's the other one? Oh, you're right. I didn't do that one either. That's okay. That's okay. Fried chicken or baked chicken? Yeah. I forgot about that one. I meant to do that. By the way, Horace says he has some almond eggnog in the fridge right now. That's what I'm talking about. I can drink that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have I we had have, so- have we had apple cider fresh from orchard? Yes, yes, we have. Yes, honey. Uh, when we were yes. at seminary, we used to go get yes. it. Yes, and it's so really, good. really, really good. It's really dark and thick. Love it. Yes. And, cider uh, for the win. Yeah. Yes. So cider, we definitely got that. All right. All right. So so baked chicken, <laughs> baked chicken. That's not even the question. So she wants fried. Give me that fried chicken. So throw out the baked chicken, chicken or fried chicken. Which one? Come on, guys. You know baked or fried? You know, I'm gonna have to say. Buy, buy baked chicken. If the if the baked chicken is falling off the bone, hold on. The O'Brien way, says I'm vegetarian. Didn't even I know bake has to go. <laughs> <laughs> but if the bake is falling off the bone, no real good, and it's smothered in so, gravy. So you're talking about know. a baked chicken that's kind of like rotisserie style in no. terms of how it. No. Oh no. Not okay. rotisserie style. Aunt Jimmy style. Okay. My Aunt Jimmy, honey. Minnie says no chicken, and no Madeline says neither. Barbecue chicken, chicken stays, stays over both of those, but we can get rid of the baked chicken. Wow. Okay. Oh, tough choice. If I'm making it, get rid of the fried. Exactly. Oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm right. with Horace on that one. Petra says, Pe- Petra right. says get rid of fried chicken, too. And then Jeremiah Dude, says it's bake, baked. No bake. Fried so is the bake. way to go. All right, so fried wins on that Mikhail. one. Mikhail. <laughs> hey, hey. Mikhail. What's up, man? Oh, my goodness. So many pieces of equipment Why? we're using right now because of you, because sir. Because of you. <laughs> in fact, going live at all is because of you. That's well, right. partially. Because you were like, yo, y'all need to stop recording and editing. You know what all saying? these buttons were pressing. <laughs> Thanks, Mikhail. <laughs> and honestly, I'm trying to stop eating chicken altogether, which sounds to me like you getting rid of baked. <laughs> 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 Jocelyn says fried chicken has to go because Horace's baked is way better. Ooh, it's see, better than the fried. I, I mean, I have not had your baked chicken, but I have had some On Jimmy's. bomb. Yeah. That is falling off the bone. And, and Menicia says, none for me. You know, because sometimes, so. sometimes when you got fried chicken, some people make it and they not seasoning that breading right. That's true. You know what I mean? Michael Shelton says, there's only one way to eat chicken. Fry that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla says, April, are you picking baked? I may have to vote for John. Don't make me go to the dark side. Oh, no. Hey, Camilla, no, come Camilla, on over. Don't go to the dark side. Come on side. over, girl. Come, uh, 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 I didn't uh, uh, say. Uh, I just hey, said. Hey, 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 hey. Mikhail said shake and bake. It's nostalgic. <laughs> You know what I'm That's true, <laughs> but it ain't it ain't it ain't like the, the deep fried. Ah, yeah, we, yeah, you got to sit at horse's table, man. We do too. You yes, know what I'm saying? we, we can do that to. for real. We need to we need to make that happen. Oh my goodness, curry, curry chicken. chicken. That wasn't one and of the that answers. That is baked. You know what I'm saying? But, Usually. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's baked. I think curry chicken is made on the stove top. I don't oh. think it's baked or fried. Yeah, really, that's true. you know what I'm saying? Uh, primo pickup on the way to horse. Pick me up. <laughs> And not picking my Horace, head. we need to have a little something with you catering there. All right, babe, we so fry, fried fried chicken that. just won. Okay, fried chicken won. All right, now, uh oh, sorry. Here it is. Garlic, Garlic mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes or rice with gravy. Which one has to go? Uh, this is an elaborate listen, dinner, by the way. This the, is the the garlic mashed potatoes definitely have to go for me. Because you love rice so much. Exactly. Give me some rice and gravy, honey. Honestly, I would get rid of the potatoes too. Because we already have something potato-like on the table with the yams. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't want mashed okay, potatoes. Look at what Horace just well said. Oh, don't get me started on curry. And that's stewed. It's stewed. That's, that's right. It. That's stewed. But it's my point stewed. is, it's not fried or baked. Okay. That's the point. Yeah. He said, get rid of rice with gravy. Yeah, what? he don't want that. So, so, so did Andrew. <gasps> bye bye rice with gravy. gravy? No, guys. Yeah, yes, Minnie, you can have fried chick instead of the uh, yeah, baked you chick. chick. So yes. you, you basically chose fried. You know what I'm saying? Rice, rice and gravy, gravy bye bye. Oh my goodness. Rice and gravy is out of here. Mikhail, too. I wow. I can't believe this. Everybody guys. saying it. Petra saying the same thing. Ba- <laughs> it's like a landslide. No rice or gravy. Oh my goodness. Oh. Rice or gravy. Minnie's if it was rice side. and peas, then we're talking about something. See? I'm, I'm okay with that, too. Okay. I'm Haitian, so rice or gravy is somewhat of a cardinal sin. <laughs> 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 yeah, Minnie says Yay, I want Minnie. rice and gravy, too. Yes, I have one But, Bay, you got killed on that one. I mean, yes. rice and gravy. You know I saying? got killed. I got killed. And I only chose not mashed potatoes because we already have something potato like. But I'm actually fine either way. Okay, it don't matter to me. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Jocelyn says she could do either one. It's fine with her. So. Okay. Well, uh, we'll do the rice and gravy. And you say Thanksgiving rice and gravy <laughs> have to go. But but the point is, uh, yeah. potatoes won. All right. Now this is the last okay. one I think. Oh, we got one more. 
Apple pie or pound cake? We gotta have our dessert. Definitely pound cake for me. David Steve, he said April needs to eat her dinner with the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that I am I am part Thai? You ain't, you ain't got no Thai, you girl. <laughs> That's your favorite cuisine. I'm part Thai. You ain't got no Thai. No <laughs> what up, David Steve? Uh, Mikhail says, "Cause where's the gravy coming from?" <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a good point. But well, you probably need gravy. You got for a the, good gravy. You gotta you know have what, a good gravy. I guess you wouldn't need gravy for the garlic mashed potatoes because they're garlic, right? So you wouldn't put gravy. But with see, that. if you had Horace's baked chicken, you'd have to have gravy with that. I'm sure he got some gravy to go with <laughs> it. Okay. Oh shoot! Primo said pound cake's gone. He that's wants right, apple pie. She said that used to be her favorite dish. Rice, rice and gravy. gravy. Any that's rice why, is my favorite. That's why the two of y'all go together. Yes. Pound cake. I love apple pie. What? So Jeremiah says, get rid of the pound cake too. I'm shocked. Wow, Madeline said you ready to pound cake too. What? Now, Camila says, apple pie, hot fruit, not beating the cake. Exactly. And April the, April I, hates so hot Camilla, fruit. So Camila, it's it's Team April again because I cannot <laughs> stand cooked fruit. First of all, if it's called dessert, I don't want no fruit. You don't want in no my, fruit involved. No, I don't yeah. want any fruit involved. Jocelyn says pound cake gotta go. Oh man. Michael Coxon says pound cake gotta pie. go. What's up, Mike? Uh, do we know each other, Petra? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> And Anjali, Anjali says, keep both. Apple, Apple pie, pie can, can go. go. I agree. Horace saying pound cake can go. Pound cake can go. I cannot believe this. So, all right, all right babe. All right. So, well, give us the results. All right, the results, guys. So, here's our. Oh, Mikhail said, hey, we got to try my apple pie. You guys, really? We will Mikhail, try it as soon as we're you bring like 10 it. minutes from you. Yeah, we so, live much closer to you now. There's no reason why I should not be having that. And apple I think you pie. said you Listen, had some lamb on deck for me, I too, I didn't like babe. lamb. He mentioned that a while ago. I didn't say I didn't like apple pie. It has to be done right, though, right. because I don't like cooked apples. But I will eat the crust and the juice. O'Brien <laughs> says, who's making the apple pie, though? If it's not the right name, I'll eat the pound cake. Uh. <laughs> so I get that, too. Yes, you know yes, saying? I agree. All right, so here's our dinner. All right, this here's is our, the this dinner. is our Christmas dinner. Y'all ready to hear it? All right, so meatloaf, mm -hmm. candied yams, mm -hmm. dressing, mac and cheese, collards, canned cranberry sauce, Hot apple cider, fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and apple pie. That's good, man. That sounds pretty good. I will tear that so up. So that's right going. Now. We don't even have our our. Uh, we don't have our menu yet. So there you go. There it is. There thank it you. Is. Thank you for choosing thank our menu you, for Christmas times. <laughs> that was uh. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what y'all have on y'all's menu, but you know what I'm saying. He said April said lamb. <laughs> Listen. Did Mikhail, somebody say Mikhail lamb? over there holding back. First of all, Mikhail can cook too. Listen, though. Mikhail can throw down. Yeah. So bring the apple pie. Yes. And absolutely. you are invited to Christmas dinner. <laughs> you are. So uh, here's our topic for tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking for a little bit because we went most of the show, just like last week, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, having a little Christmas but We fun. have to have a little, a little something. Little happy holidays. Yeah, a little happy holidays fun. A little fun. holiday you know fun. Now that I know how to use that. But we have to have we have to have a little something that's like, you know, speaking to relationship issues and stuff like that, especially right now with things that are going on. You know, you're in the holiday season and we already talked about, you know, some different things that pop up during the holidays. For our Thanksgiving special, we talked about, you know, coming over and having your in-laws or being an in-law and going to their place and stuff like that mm -hmm, and what that mm -hmm. could be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, see, we're if we get to the topic at 940. 40. Yep, exactly. But you know what? <laughs> if the topic gets hot, we can go as long as we want. Exactly. So that's the point. Even though y'all yeah. be ready to go to bed. Exactly. But, you know. <laughs> no. So anyway, this one is about holiday traditions. And what we were talking about earlier today, actually, when we decided to do the show on this, we decided because, you know, some people, I think, go through this where – Maybe one or both of us have holiday traditions that are different from the other. Mm -hmm. And we wondered how far does a spouse or significant other have to go in respecting their partner's traditions when it comes to the holidays? Mm. So um, we can go as, as deep or as shallow with this as we want. So the shallow end, I think, would be, I don't know, uh, I don't care about stuff like, you know, decorations. Oh, okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? I was going to say, just talk about what we just talked about. Like, I don't want to have a big dinner. Right. You know, we I don't just, like having people over. Yeah, all we that just kind of went stuff. out right. when I was a kid. Right. So I don't really want to do all that cooking and have all that. We do that at Thanksgiving. Why, why are we doing it again? Right. You know. And I, and I grew up with that. And for me, the food is the biggest part of it. That's the most important thing. Christmas dinner is just like Thanksgiving dinner, so I really want to make sure that, you know, that we do that. What are we supposed to do about that? How, how do we resolve it? Do we just say, okay, 
We'll do it your way one year, one year, one way my year. Of course, that's one way. Do we belittle the other person and be like, yo, that's just plain stupid. We're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Depends on what it is. Right. <laughs> so that that's the shallow end. Yeah, that's the, the shallow end. The deep end would be, I think, something along the lines of maybe you have a Christmas tradition or a Thanksgiving tradition or something mm-hmm. that sort of goes against who I am or maybe something that I believe or maybe I think you're too commercial with it and you're buying too many gifts and I feel like that's shallow and we should be focusing more on, you know, the reason for the season and stuff like that. And, you know, it's it's this commercial holiday. and You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think when, when that stuff happens, I think you can get a little bit of um, feeling criticized or judged mm. in those situations yeah. where it's like, you know, well, I believe that that's, you know, commercial and all that kind of stuff. Right. Because I've heard people say that about like, Valentine's Day and You've things heard like that? that. From who? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. And that. then you know, <laughs> you're exposing yourself. Am I? And and just you know not doing that because of their. And so I'm wondering. I'm like, what is that though? What actually is it? Is are it you saying that? Are you saying that some people might be hiding behind? Yes. This sort of this is what I believe kind of thing when really it's just like inconvenient or yeah. I don't really feel like doing that exactly. or whatever. Or all of that is too much and it's too much work, too much stress, too much to think about. So, I'm, and I'm not saying that people don't have actual beliefs about those things, but I'm right. saying, is it, right. you know? Right. How often is it where the yeah. person actually doesn't really care that at that level, so but they're using it you, as a smoke screen? What are some things that you do that you really don't want to do? When it comes to Christmas time. Like me and you. Like yes, whatever. like holiday season, time comes around. What would you not be doing if we were not together? Like what is it that I have brought that you've had to respect and accept that you're like, you know what? Okay, that's not something that is my, it's not my thing, but. Yeah, so I don't think I would care about having multiple Christmas trees. And you always <laughs> want to have multiple Christmas trees. <laughs> To me, it's like overkill. But but I just accept that now, and we just do it. And but if you, you do always do share with me that you don't want multiple Christmas trees at some point. Did I do that this year? You did. You were like, I mean, oh we man, have to, really? We have to have two. <laughs> I mean, but I, I don't think I. W- I was just saying, do we have to have yeah, two? Yeah, you just said it real quick. Because but I saying, knew we had to buy another one in order to have two this time. We didn't have two already. You know what I'm saying? So I was yeah, just kind of like, well, the do we have to do that? But the one we had was too small. It was. And you were willing to keep it right there too. I was. That is true. <laughs> so I, I like, definitely don't get that. So so it's not a belief thing, or it's not a it's not a psych, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's not a um, a fundamental sort of belief kind of thing. It's not right. Uh, that's what we said. That's the shallow part. Yeah. Of so this I don't really care. You know yes. what I'm saying? But but I think I think if you weren't around, I'd probably have a really small tree that was cheap, just use the same one every year. What? Um, now there's one thing You're I very don't. Disappointed. <laughs> Are you? I'm saying I, I'm saying that's something that I've accepted now that you know I'm married to you. That's something that you think is important, and I'm like, okay, let's do that. Let's mm-hmm. get multiple trees. The, the other thing is, um, I don't think I would care that much about decorating the tree with you, and I don't now. Like I, so basically, what happens is, my job has always been to go down to the basement or to the attic, whichever house it's been over the years, to retrieve the tree. Mm-hmm. get it, bring it down, and put it in the room. And then usually what happens is you and the kids usually put the tree together and decorate it. That's been me and the kids thing. And I'm normally somewhere close by. I'm usually in the kitchen, like either making something I have to make, my pastor's loaf or something like that that's happening the next day or whatever. I don't know. Or I'm just eating or watching the game, <laughs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Depends on what the, how, how close to Christmas we're talking here. But you've allowed me to not be involved in that. And I appreciate that. I it's not that I'm against it. I just well, see, growing up, my dad was the one who put the tree and put all the the decorations, and I did that with him. Okay. So I wanted to do that with my kids. Okay. So I, I your mom you wasn't know, involved though. Even though I no, so you're right. So she was okay. Not. So, so so you're okay with one parent. I, I'm not, okay yeah. with that. All right, but good. I I mean I wanted you. I just, to. I just want to make sure I wanted you to. But then yeah. I'm like, you know what? Okay. So let's let's get deeper with this okay. because there are some families or some people who actually have a hard time with. You know, like you were saying earlier, the idea of getting the kids everything on their list. That sounds shallow, but it really isn't because sometimes that can cause a serious strife with the couple when you're talking about financial stuff. Right. right? And this is a financial thing. So one may want to get everything on the list. 
Another may say, no, we need to just get one thing. And then that's a big fight every year. You're fighting to try to buy gifts. And, and that could go to a Christmas tradition because probably when you were a kid, if you had a list, your parents tried to get you everything on it if it was within reason. Or you Unless didn't you... get anything and you want to do that for your kids. Okay. You know, it could yes. be that too. Okay. Yes. Right. That's true. Either one. That's so, a good point. So I think that could be a big thing because I've seen, like, let's go back to, to, to Valentine's Day where one doesn't want to participate and right. another one does and right. that's a big fight. Right. So same with this, like wanting to get gifts, one could want to get, you know. And the other one's like, nah, we ain't and, spending that kind of money. And I'll tell you what the funny thing is. For me, it's not even really uh, necessarily only a money thing. Mm -hmm. I just see lists differently. So when I see So you're the, saying you are that person that doesn't want to get everything on the list? Well, we just well, had this conversation like a week ago. I, I said, I said we're getting everything? Yes, you did. I, I didn't no, say it once. I was just like, we, we're, we're going to get all the stuff on it. <laughs> we got to get everything on the list. Uh, That's now what you Tell my voice changed. Earlier, <laughs> rewind. Earlier, I sounded very differently than I do right now. It's one of those. It's right. Anyway, so here's the thing. When I see, when I see a Christmas list from the kids, it makes me think, um, here's a bunch of stuff to choose from. And maybe we'll get them three or four things on here. I'm never thinking to myself, whatever they have on the list, I'm going to try to get everything. That's just, that just doesn't cross my mind. Now, it's not that because everything could be inexpensive and affordable. Right. I just don't see the list that way. I see it as, you know, here's some possible options to make sure that you're not like, you know, looking for stuff and looking, you know, at the wrong thing or whatever. But I'm okay with getting them everything. It's just I don't think of it as, yeah, so oh, it I have to get everything. it hasn't been a fight with us. Never. Never a fight. Never. But I think there are some couples who do deal with, you know, not And we're going to ask the chimes. We're going to get to the chimes okay, in a second and, and, and find out what they say. Okay, and let's talk about some other deep things because some people might say, you know, I want a tree. I don't want no tree. Right. You know, right. I want, I want, um, you know, I want to, I don't know, go to church. On Christmas, I don't mm. want to go to church. You know, I don't want to do that because right. that's that's not how I enjoy Christmas. Mm -hmm. I don't enjoy mm -hmm. Christmas by going to, mm -hmm. to church or whatever. Mm -hmm. So those things I think can turn into huge arguments and huge debates in a, in a, in a relationship where both feel strongly. You know, I think it's because you don't feel as strongly about the things that we have that are different. This might not be so a deal. you right. just say go ahead. You know, whatever. Right. right. But there are some who they have strong feelings about either one. How do you handle that? How do you make a decision on what's going to happen? If one wants to go to church, the other one doesn't because the other one don't like church. Yeah. And so Christmas time, they want to be in environments that they enjoy. And right. the other one's like, well, I enjoy church. Right. So that's a good environment for me. So what do you do, split up? No. I actually think Christmas should be about us being together. It should be about family time. It should be about not everybody doing their own thing. Right. So what, That's my personal So feeling, what would right? you say to a couple who's dealing with that? I would say that you should deal with this the same way you do with other stuff where you disagree. And that is, you should be trying your best to give your spouse the satisfaction of feeling like you care enough about them to actually set aside your feelings mm. and to let them have their way. Mm. That, that's how I think <clears throat> working relationships are in general the ones that that excel mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. that aren't just you know happy sometimes that are happy that people that are thriving in their relationships mm -hmm. that's their attitude it's how can i give my significant other that thing that they know i don't like mm -hmm. so that when i give it to them they know this is just about them mm -hmm. like it, this has literally nothing to do with me mm -hmm. i'm just trying to fulfill what you need in this situation which is to be seen, to be understood, mm -hmm. uh, to be acknowledged, to be appreciated, uh, to be given into. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? To to me, that's what I would say. Of course, that's hard to do. And if you feel like you're the only one doing it all the time, then that's of course a whole nother. Yeah. Thing. And I was gonna say that. I think the mm -hmm. the relationships that work the best are the ones where each of us are trying to right. do that. Where right, we're both right, right. So so in that mm -hmm. case, I would say you're trying to think about me too. So maybe this year you find a way to have a religious experience at home without us going to church because you know I don't like going to church. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe we go to church almost every year, and this year you try to do something for me and mm -hmm. say, you know what, we're going to stay home. Let's just read Luke 2, and let's have a little family worship. Would you be okay with that instead of, mm -hmm. instead of going to church today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'd love that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to me, that, now, that, that sounds simple, right? right? But it's not easy. 
I know, no. I know, I know. I'm probably <laughs> oversimplifying. It's it's a lot more complicated than that. Yeah. But to me, that's how I would handle it. Mm -hmm. Before I ask you how you would handle it, I want to know whether or not there's something that you do or don't do from a holiday tradition standpoint because of me. You know that this has been a thing for us our entire marriage, and I have given in. I on literally it. don't even know what you're about yes. to say. Now we have taken pictures, but I want Christmas pictures. Oh, that's true. You know, I want family pictures. John has always been like, why we got to be taking, <laughs> why we got to spend that money on a family picture? That's literally the third okay. voice now. The totally different so, voice. So, <laughs> I have several different voices depending on the situation. Right. So, you know. So I, that's something you don't do, but you want to have yes. as a tradition. Like, but you we don't know do that Christmas time, we're going to take family pictures. Like, right. we know we're going to do that. But that's not. And I've given, I'm like, you know what? We take pictures in other ways. We do. We take. We t we do have family pictures. We do. But I'm saying I want. You would. That have, to you would be like to do tradition. that more frequently. You would. Yes. You would almost want family. You would almost want Christmas pictures with the family every year if yeah, you could have it. I would. Pictures. Period. With the family every year. Like, it's f it's funny. Period. I, it's funny that that's so obvious. It, but it didn't even cross my mind. I don't know. I, I didn't it's think so about obvious. that. I mean, you I know that we've had this thing since yeah, our yeah. kids were little. Right. Like I've wanted to do that, and you're like. And, and I, of course, we take pictures, but with our cameras, you know, right. just regular, you know, pictures, but it's not the same, you know? Over the years. And we've had professional pictures, we've but had I wanted them every done. single year. Right. But your thing is, I don't want to spend money on that. <laughs> 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 Which I, and I, and I was just as strong feeling, you know, my, my feelings were just as strong. Right. But I, and I, I know that I could have gotten it if I pushed, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to push that because we do take pictures when we do whatever. But I, that is something that, that would be. On my list. And that could be a big deal or could have been a big deal. But you asked me what would I, what would my advice be? Yeah, if you had to give advice to a couple about how they should handle these differences in holiday traditions. L let me ask you the first question. Mm -hmm. Would you always say that they should respect each other's traditions? Of course. Uh, okay, that, I think, that, I would, that's, I think that's baseline, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to respect, I'm going to respect your, 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 the things that you want. Would you, you know, also things. say, though, that each person should be striving to appreciate the other person's tradition. I think that's the best thing to do. I, th I think like that, I th like that's I, ideal. I, that is ideal to yeah. accept. You know, we always talk about acceptance. Yeah. So even accepting the, the person's traditions or the way that they were brought up, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The things that they um, hold dear to their mm -hmm. hearts, or mm -hmm. what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know, because everywhere you were brought up is not something you want to accept. Of so course. I'm talking about right. the things that yes. you want to accept. Yes. So I'm talking about me accepting things you want yes, or that you loved or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But I think personally that when you come together as a couple, when you get married, when you have kids, whatever it is, I think that putting all of the traditions on the table mm. and then saying, okay, how are we going to now, what are we choosing in this new family, I in like this that family, what yeah. are we going to choose? Okay, we're always going to have trees. Right. We're going to have multiple trees. <laughs> 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 I mean, and you can be, this sounds uh, petty or little or whatever, but I think that these things can turn into something where if year after year you're, you're constantly, you know, being judged or whatever right. for what you want, after yeah. a while you're going to resent the person. Right. You know, True. so uh, multiple trees, you know, yeah. we're going to have a big Christmas dinner. Matter of fact, we're going to do breakfast and dinner. Right. You know, we're going to do the big breakfast like and the, the dinner. Faces you should exactly. Do. <laughs> you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to put on the, we're going to put it all. You know, when I grew up, we opened a gift uh, on Christmas Eve. We mm -hmm. opened one gift. You know, mm -hmm. do you want to do that? Mm, I don't really want to do that because, you know, mm -hmm. I think it takes away from the, okay, we can leave that off the table. I'm just saying, like, you decide together and respect all the things that's on the table. Mm hmm. But then to say, hey, but try to have this, your own yeah. new traditions. And I that think you, you can put stuff on the table every year. Right. You can say, okay, here's the stuff again. What are we going to put on the? Mm. What are we going to choose this year? So that it's like everybody's traditions or the things that they love can actually be on the table at some point. Yeah. Even though it might not be every single year that you do those things. That's interesting. I, I just thought of one that we used to do when we were kids that you and I did somewhat when we were married and with our kids. Mm -hmm. were My married. parents. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, <laughs> we are married. My my parents used to get all the Christmas cards that they were given uh, that year, and they would put them all in like a basket, and then we'd like pray over them. Yeah, we used to do that. And you and I used to do that too. Mm -hmm. I, I w that was a nice tradition. It was something I loved as a kid. Um, you know, everybody's Christmas card usually has their pictures on it, and so 
it kind of brings to life what you're doing in that situation. You're mm-hmm. remembering this family. Mm-hmm. Of course, they were nice enough to send you a Christmas card, so, you know, put it in the basket and pray for them. And it was, it was just a nice thing, usually on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve sometimes, stuff like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, that's a nice tradition, yeah. and it was fun to do, and, you know. Yeah. But, but I think that was something that we decided we were going to do. We didn't just you do didn't it just because. You just say, we're doing this. Yeah, because I was, It was you know, a, what do you think about this? Oh, yeah, I right, like that. Let's right, try that, you right. know? All right, let's see what the challenge have to say. Uh, first of all, Deidre said, Team it. April. Oh, wait, I'm early. <laughs> <I love> <laughs> Way too early. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. Okay, Primo says, first of all, you should learn your potential partner's traditions before you decide to get mm. married. It should be part of the compatibility test. I agree. I'm with that, too. I think that before you get married, you should talk about as much as you can. I agree. Like, as much as you can. Yeah. You know, get it out there, you know? By the way, I don't know if it's because of the border or what, but you look stunning in that green shirt right now. Aww. I keep staring at you. Oh, I won't, I won't give you that voice Are anymore. Are we still live? I won't give you that I'm voice sorry, anymore. I didn't, to, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you, giving you the... You could do the voice. That's funny. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Andrew <laughs> says, <laughs> I say it comes down to who's doing the work. Mm. Ooh. So is he saying, are you saying, Andrew, that um, let's say that uh, if I want 50 trees, if I'm putting them all up, then, then, then be okay. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I like that. You know, that's true. If uh, I'm going to do the work, you know. Uh, Minnie says, I remember back in the day when we used to all travel down south for the holidays to see my grandparents back in the day. Mm. Yes, that's mm-hmm, a holiday tradition. Mm-hmm, and maybe that's mm-hmm. something you want to do. Maybe you always want to travel. and Maybe mm-hmm, your spouse always mm-hmm, wants to stay home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think respecting their traditions is very important, but we may have to alternate from time to time, too, was typing this as you were mentioning it. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. uh, ESP. Uh, Primo says, I probably would not even celebrate Christmas if... At it, all, if I, if I wasn't married. married. Okay, wow. so he, he... I don't... It, I remember you saying this. I remember last that too, year. And, and I remember trying to ask like why that is, yeah. and you said it was like something you couldn't share in 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 the chat or something. I don't. Was remember. it you making up stuff? I, maybe I am. <laughs> that, that's that's what I remember. Maybe you're not, Primo. Why you don't want to celebrate Christmas? Yeah, we want to know. Okay, maybe it is something you can't share. Jocelyn says compromise. My family used to do a huge Christmas, and Horace's uh, first Christmas was with us, and it was mind blowing. Wow. Because I guess he didn't do it big okay. like that. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? Um. Uh, and then Jocelyn, same with my family. When grandparents left, it felt mm. off, which is what which is what Minnie says. Uh, yeah. We used to be Christmas season, but now since my mother passed away, our Christmas has yeah. never been the same. That can do it too. My mother loved Christmas and Thanksgiving, um, and it's just not. And the same. really, that's back to what Andrew said, and that's who's gonna who's the one that's doing everything. You know, right? right. That's usually the person that keeps it going, right. and Makes it the way, it, right? It, yeah. Yeah. Sorry for your loss again, Minnie. I know that yes. wasn't that long ago. Horses. I grew up with my parents that said. They buy us what we need and want. Don't need to wait for a day of the year. <laughs> so basically you're saying Christmas, they wouldn't get, right. they, they buy this stuff all the time. So wow. wouldn't get a bunch of Christmas hey, gifts, I guess. My parents used to get me all my school clothes. For Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to think they were gifts, honey. Oh, of like, course. Yes. That was great. No, I enjoy, I loved it. But my mom told me later that was your school clothes. That's hilarious, honey. man. Yeah. Anjali says, I agree with that premise. I want to do what makes you happiest. In my mm. philo- is my philosophy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's your you don't spend money voice. Uh, <laughs> right. I don't want to spend money voice. I mean, uh, we want we want to make sure one person isn't always the one conceding, in my opinion. I agree with that, Petra. And that's we say the that a thing. Lot. And I have had, I've heard people say, we've had couples where one is like, I'm always the one. Yeah. And then it becomes, again, resentment. Yeah. Because I'm always the one giving up. And I remember I had a friend, she was just like, her, her, the statement she said was, why does he always get everything he wants mm. all the time? And, you know, that becomes a burden on you. Yeah. Because it's like you feel like I'm never going to get it. I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even right. going to try. Right. And then you're basically miserable because you feel like you never get anything. You don't want that. Yeah, you don't want that. Primo says doing your own pictures with your camera and a tripod could be just as meaningful for the Nixons. Not quite. And I'll tell you why. We've tried no, this. We did do that. We've done we it a few it. times. Yeah. And it was at my suggestion. And <laughs> the problem really is that <laughs> the problem really is that um, – April wants a person to pose us. She wants the background to yeah, look man. like it's professional. Yeah. Uh, she wants a certain lighting and 
a certain depth of field. She she wants the things that only professionals are going to be able to do, and it kind of cheapens it when we just. Dis- in fact, in fact, when we do this and we try to take it with our own camera, everybody's like huffing. Mm-hmm. You know, the kids are like, okay, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, and, and but now if it the makes professional her even, was there, they'd be cooperating. Right. It was a strange. And now it makes her even more upset. So and I definitely. Nobody wants to do it but me. Right. Right, and then she feels bad. She's so. like, "Okay, I'm not making everybody do this." You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, the the oh, solution would be just to get the sounds like you're on my side now. I'm definitely Team April on this one. Aww. Yeah. Yay. Camila <laughs> says, "Yeah, as a unit, you create your traditions, making bits and pieces from taking. each person. Mm-hmm. Sorry, taking bits and pieces from each person and creating new ones. Yes. yes, that's really the way to do it. I think that helps a lot." Like, so, Camila, you back to Team April, right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Anjali says, I think this is a great discussion for most couples to have pre-marriage. Yes. yes. That's what that's what Primo was saying, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, April says, getting close to Team April for the imitations and advice, putting traditions on the table. If you hit a third, you might get back-to-back what? Team Aprils. That ain't happening. Oh, my goodness. What no am way. I going to I have to say something that Primo's going to agree with. Because <laughs> I saved that. I saved that. <laughs> Andrew says, because of the imitations, I feel like a vote for Team April is really a vote for Team John. That's true. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Uh, said that part was doing the work. Exactly. Uh, Andrew says, I like the way you think. Uh, Minnie says, thank you. It's been two years now since my mother passed away. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I remember. I remember that. We talked yeah. about it on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, you came on, and we were uh, giving our condolences then. Um, for me, it's a holiday whose purpose is miscomprehended. So are you saying that, um, like, my spouse doesn't necessarily understand what it takes to make a holiday meaningful to me mm. because she doesn't comprehend that. She ends up not giving me the things that I would want in that situation. Because that's the thing. I actually feel like I think you're fine with the pictures thing because you know how I feel about it. And so you're giving in to me, basically. Um but we have done pictures before. I don't know how often we've done it during the holidays, though. Yeah, we haven't. But, I mean, even if it is during the year, I'm good. But it's not even that. It's not even during right. the year. that's true. <laughs> like, we have a few, but not enough. I think you have to do Team John, Team April. We have to. Because I need, I need Primo to vote for me. We will see what happens tonight. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to lose. Well, I think I'll probably lose, but I'm not going to lose because of the people dad normally vote for me <laughs> voting for you that's not gonna happen she says no not personally traditions wise mm, understanding the traditions ah the purpose, I see what you're saying the yes reasons for them yes yeah that's important I, and I yeah. guess that's what I'm saying I guess what's important in this situation in my opinion is that we try to understand what makes a tradition important to our spouse to our significant other yeah. And even yeah. if we don't end up ever liking their tradition as much as ours, at least they felt like we took the time to understand their tradition. And I think that'll make them feel seen. You I know think so, too. Even participating in the tradition. Oh, no question. You know? I mean, look at what Primo's do doing. Year. Primo yeah. doesn't even really like care about Christmas. And we're not sure why yet. But I know y'all go all in. I know you do. Right. Because... You know, Shalita gonna make stuff look good exactly. and Christmassy and nice, and the right. kids gonna get all the gifts and right. it's gonna be fun. Right. So, I mean, that's a big deal, you yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, Lola said, Lola, what's up? Hey. We just came on. What's the vote? Yay! April has my vote either way. <laughs> So, so, Lola, the way it works is we usually have a discussion on the show, and there's usually my perspective and there's April's perspective. And at the end of the show, we always want to know, are you Team John or Team April? Did you agree more with me during the discussion, or did you agree more with April during the and discussion? And I already have one, two, three Team April. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Andrew says, <laughs> Team, team Imitation, Imitation John, John, which, which is, is really a vote, vote for Team John. Actually, exactly. no, it's no, not. It's, it is. You are Team April, Andrew. No, you just don't want to say it. Look, come on over to Camila. Let's take Team April. Primo's that side. big chicken vote scared me, she said. Because <laughs> uh, she almost was not Team April. Okay. Jocelyn's Team April. Almost lost Camila. Woo. Okay. And, the, and then Camila says, why are you hating? You know you want to vote Team April. Talking, talking to Andrew, I'm assuming. You know <laughs> exactly. Saying? Go ahead Thank and vote you. Team I won John, tonight already. Like... I need to win because I don't think I won last time. Madeline says Team Nixon, oh, and she Madeline always does. So she sweet. she never votes for me she or you. She doesn't, but she's really Team April. She just don't want to hurt your feelings. 
Because that's Madeline, probably what it is actually. Madeline is my dance partner, right, so right. I already she be know. dancing in front of her computer at home. Exactly. And always egging you on to dance more and stuff. I like already that. know she team it, but that's okay. <laughs> team Nixon, I'm okay with. I'm cool with that. <laughs> so oh I, I think man. you. Yes, right. April Nixon, you have been weighed and found wanting. Team John. That's what I'm talking about. Thank Primo. you, Primo. Thank you, Primo. I, you know what? I'm not even mad at you because you said Team April last. Matter of fact, I need to get the picture up and put it up on the screen. Where is that? You took a, snapshot, I, I a, a screenshot of it. I did. I took true. a screenshot. I forgot about that. It was unbelievable to me. So I will hold on to that Team April, okay? See, man, this is true. true. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. And Minnie says, I'll be fair as both of y'all. Aww. Anjali, always Team April because I knew her first. Exactly. Yeah, you definitely Me knew and her Anjali first. Anjali go way me. back. <laughs> All right, babe. But Berean, where did, did you know yeah. go to Berean together? Yeah, we did. Elementary school. Berean elementary school. All the way up. It's crazy. Man. Yep. They're yeah, both ancient. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I, that, 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 that <laughs> I was just kidding. Okay, y'all. So uh, we actually won't be here next week. No. We're going to enjoy the holidays. Yes. I'm using so, that correctly. You are using that correctly. So we won't be here. We won't be here next Wednesday, but uh, we encourage you to, you know, enjoy the holidays as well. Yeah. So we will be back the first of the year. Yeah. So that's the end. That's perfect. Music's done. Love y'all. See y'all dudes later. Have a merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.